Hi! Help us make YouTube better for creators! We want to know what how you really feel! Don't hold back! Take the survey! <laughs> Let's take the survey! <laughs> Come on! You can do it! Thank you for participating in this 15 minutes of 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Oh, all right. Here we go. Got nothing better to do, right? YouTube's my job. Let's do it. Let's give them feedback. I agree. <clears throat> Thank you for the blah, 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 blue ocean on behalf of... I've done these before, but... Is it the same one? I don't know. I did this once and, like, it didn't capture properly. Anyway, I, do I have to click I agree or next? What happens if I just click next? Click the I agree box. <laughs> From the list below, please select the country you live in. Jeez, Saudi Arabia is right up there, isn't it? Australia. You gotta scroll down? Why, why can't I just click on the button and it, it automatically go next? If it's only one option... Are you 18 years? Yes. So you like think about YouTube in general. How strongly do you agree or disagree? YouTube is the yeah. I've done this before. I've done this before. I'll uh, do it again anyway. YouTube is the I don't know if I ever put up the video for it. This might have been the lost video. YouTube is the best place for creators. Well, see, like, how do you define the best place? Is it the best place for building an audience? Is it the best place for video quality? Is it the best place for interaction? Is it the best place for you know, monetization? Is it what? You know, I mean, I, it's... I agree slightly. YouTube is trustworthy. No. Strongly disagree. Trustworthy? Not transparent about anything. YouTube is the best place to build a fan base. Well, I'd have to strongly agree. There's just no competition. Seriously. Um, unless you're doing, like, streaming, then Twitch is a big thing, but I, like, no. YouTube provides me the best opportunity to make revenue as a creator. I don't make money anywhere else, so, and, well, make m most of my money from, like, the ads on the website and, and merchandise and, and stuff like that, but without the YouTube audience, that's for zip. So, YouTube provides me the biggest potential audience, yeah, without a doubt. YouTube is a viable place for me to make money. Uh, no, I disagree. Because it's not, the monetization's not that great. Uh, why do you agree slightly with the following statement? YouTube is the best... Oh, fuck, I've got to go through every one of them! Why do you agree slightly with the following statement? YouTube... God. Oh, type shit. <laughs> Why do you... I should make him watch this video. You want my feedback? Why do you agree slightly with the YouTube is the best place for creators? Uh, what did I say before? Um, it's the... Only game in town, really. Not that that's a good thing. Why do you disagree strongly with the following statement? You because your transparency sucks ass. <clears throat> Um, yeah, it's not trustworthy, and, like, and just banning, but I'm not going to go, like, your transparency, like, that's the main thing, when channels and stuff get banned, and things like that, it's fine, okay, ban people for doing something, but at least give a very clear, specific reason, and a link to a video where they said something wrong, not just, oh, it's the vibe, you know, <clears throat> are you monetizing one or more channels, yes, what percentage of your videos are currently monetized? All of them. <laughs> Prefer not to say. At least you... I was going... No, it is supposed to be anonymous, isn't it? All of them. Thinking about the past six months, what percentage of your income as a video creator did you uh, directly receive from YouTube? It's... it's. I don't think it's 25... If you're talking about 
profit or income? It's income's different to profit because, you know, it, like product sales are not 100% profit, of course. Um, it, it's like, it's. I'd be surprised if it's 25. It's certainly not, it's like, it's, it's around about a quarter, 20%, something like that. I don't know. I don't keep track of these. You know, you'd have to ask my accountant. Uh, did any of your income as a YouTube creator earned during the past six months come from the following revenue? Did any of your income as a YouTube creator earned during and come from these? Ah, oh, right. Yes. Ads. Uh, yes. Ads. Channel memberships. No, I don't get anything for channel memberships. Merchandise. Yes. Other. Please specify. Um... Product sales. That'll do. Thinking specifically about how YouTube motivates creators. <laughs> how strongly do you agree or disagree with each other? Oh, God, look at them all. YouTube allows me as a creator to express my creativity. Um, no, because you're banning freaking channels for, um, like, no, it's it's ridiculous. To express, well, no, I'm not, not, not going to dis disagree slightly. YouTube values the diversity of, diversity, bullshit, uh, values the diversity of its creators, ethnicity, gender, no, no, because you do not value all of them, because you hate the, uh, the well, right-wingers or whoever you call them. Like, you know, it, it, these people are demonetized and shut down. Um... Like, everyone should be treated equally. End of story. So, no, you do not. Your diversity sucks ass. No, because diversity only includes what you, as the extreme left-wing YouTube, want. And this is coming from someone who considered themselves an extreme left-winger. <laughs> At one point, until the left pushed everyone to the center. <clears throat> the new left. YouTube understands me as a creator. Ah. Uh, no, no, disagree slightly. There's lots of stuff that you you just don't understand, you know, or you just don't care about. <clears throat> YouTube makes it fun to be a creator. No, it doesn't make it fun. It's a freaking challenge all the time. You threaten to be demonetized, de uh, banned, flagged, whatever, with no recourse or no even explanation why. Once again, transparency thing. YouTube inspires me to keep improving. No, you don't. Why? No. <laughs> I'm disagreeing slightly on all of them. YouTube makes me feel part of the creator community. No. YouTube allows me to reach an audience that will appreciate my content. Uh, well, yeah, it does. Well, no, because there's, you know, some things the algorithm may not... So I'm not going to agree strongly, but I would... I'm. It, tending towards strongly, but I'm going to put slightly. YouTube creators can inspire social change. <laughs> yeah, only if it's the ones YouTube ag <laughs> agree on. No, but, but they can. Yes. Yes, they can until they get banned. Um, and breaking through on YouTube has become more difficult over the last few years. Well, yeah, it has. It's... Not necessarily YouTube's fault. It's just it's just the sheer number of people doing it now. Like I've done a video on how I used to be ranked like the five thousandth biggest channel in the world, and now I'm like fifteen thousand or something, and that's a good thing because there's just more people creating more content. So yeah, it's become more difficult. They're going to ask why? No. When thinking about how YouTube promotes creators, you don't promote them. How do you promote them? How strongly do you... YouTube values a variety of different contents and formats. No, you don't. No, you don't. You do not value them. You, at best, tolerate them. <clears throat> YouTube plays an active role in promoting creators, regardless of channel size. I, I, you, don't pre you don't promote anyone. How do you promote them? It's just some random algorithm that nobody has any transparency into, which I'm not necessarily complaining about, because if you knew how the algorithm worked, you could game the system. So, yeah, I, don't, I certainly don't blame uh, YouTube uh, at all there, really. Sorry, I'll just make myself bigger again. Don't know why.
Um, let's go. New and inspiring creators can achieve success on YouTube. Oh, well, yeah, they always can. Of course they can. Um, thinking specifically of YouTube's educational support. What educational support? How strong? Oh, you know, they've got the creator communities and stuff like that. And if you're like, I'm sure that's helped a lot of YouTubers. Um, but I, I just don't know anything about it. YouTube makes it clear to me what it takes to succeed. Um, yeah, because the YouTube playbook and stuff like that, it's it's okay. You're, you're doing stuff there. YouTube's educational learning opportunities make my channel successful. No, you got nothing to do with it. I'm the sole arbiter of what makes my channel successful. I'm the sole input. <laughs> YouTube makes it easy for me to find the information I need when I need it. No, your website sucks. Uh, YouTube's learning resource to help me establish... Just learning resources to help me establish a fan base on YouTube. I don't use it. I don't. Makes it clear how to make money on the platform. I, yeah. It's like sign up for AdSense and yeah. They even tell you the percentage and stuff, don't they? Taken out. YouTube's learning resources help me grow. Me, I, oh, yeah, but whatever. But I don't use them, so I probably should have put middle for all those. Thinking about your future on YouTube, how strongly do you agree or disagree? I worry that I might lose my YouTube channel because of copyright ID content issues. Yes, every single YouTuber is going to click that button. Like, it's a given. I want to invest more resources to develop my YouTube channel. Ah, uh, yeah. It's my full-time job. <laughs> I'd want to. Um, I feel confident about my future on YouTube. Uh, no. No, disagree strongly. Because at any time, somebody can flag my channels and I can be... All you need is one flag. All you need is one false flag and your ability to live stream is taken away. You could be on YouTube for 10 years. You could be, you know, a role model of content creators. You get one silly strike, one false... Somebody false flags your video... You can't live stream anymore, and that could just cripple your content. No. So at any time, I'm not confident about my future on YouTube. I want to invest more time in creating content. Uh, yeah, if I had more time. I am in control of my destiny on YouTube. No. Because YouTube are in sole control. Really. You know, I'd, ultimately, I could, I could lose my channel and my channels tomorrow. Like... It, it, it could just happen. So how, I, how I'm in control of my destiny. <clears throat> Not on YouTube. I'm in control of my own destiny. But it m might <laughs> be on some other platform. Who knows? <clears throat> Think, thinking specifically of YouTube's tools and features. How strongly do you agree or disagree with each of the following statements? <sighs> YouTube's analytical tools help me make better decisions for my channel. Yeah, they're really good. Can't complain. YouTube makes it easy to find the tools I need when I need them. Ah, oh, not really. <clears throat> YouTube is the primary place for me to nurture my fan base and community. Well, not entirely. I've got the forum, I've got the website, stuff like that. So, you know, I've, I've got other channels. So, I, it's... And YouTube is a leader in innovative technology for creators. <laughs> innovative technology, like what? Um, the fact that you can't do nested comments properly anymore. <laughs> like, you can't even do nested comments. Like, you can do just do one level of nesting in your comments. <laughs> That's a leader in innovative technology. Oh, uh, but, you know, no, they, they led the way in supporting 4K and 3D video, even though 3D's a wank and, you know, like, stuff like that. So, you know, I, they're, all right. they're doing all right, I guess. But in, in other areas where it, you know... It really matters with fan interaction. They just suck ass. YouTube's tools and... And once again, I don't mind if... You know, let's take the nesting comments, for example. If they can't do it, and there's a reason why they can't do it, just tell us. Right? That's fine. Right? If there's a technical reason, have some technical programmer at YouTube come on and do a video saying, oh, yeah, look, we'd love to add a multiple nested level comments, but, it, you know, it's just going to kill the system, bog the system down because of speed or whatever, and we just can't do it. Sorry. Fine. But otherwise, you know, like, YouTube, their transparency sucks. YouTube's tools and features help me interact with my fans. Whatever happened to Susan Wojcicki, Susan Alphabet's up? Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> blog channel. Is that still going? She set up a YouTube channel. Tools and features help me interact with my fans. I, well, well, they help me, but they're not great. Like, I just sent out a notifica a community tab notification the other day. I don't know how many people it goes to. A lot of people said I didn't get it. It's just random. So, no. Um, I'm going to disagree slightly. <laughs> YouTube continues to improve tools and features to meet customer needs. Oh, yeah, slightly, maybe. Th thinking specifically about how YouTube recognizes creators, how strongly do you agree or disagree with each of the following? YouTube values me as a partner. No. Nah. YouTube celebrates my success. Who am I? I'm just one of 50,000, I believe it's well over 50,000 channels. Last I counted, it was 50,000 channels had 100,000 subscribers and a YouTube Silver Award. So I can't expect them to. I mean, it, you know, there's just so many. It's just, the platform's just changed. Recognizes new and inspiring creators. No, never seen it. You might. I don't know. YouTube compensates me fairly. I don't know. It's all right, I guess. I don't, you know, compared to the CPM figures that you can get elsewhere, no, oh, it's you could say it's on the low side, but you know, I, I think their 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 cut is certainly reasonable. There's nothing I got no problem with YouTube taking half, or, or you know, which is fine because the massive CDN network they have to uh, uh, maintain just to you know keep the whole ship afloat. So, uh, thinking specifically of how YouTube assists you. How strongly do you agree? Or do, I understand what YouTube offers creators of various channel sizes. I, I, I don't know. I'm not kept in the loop. Like, none of us are. You would think that there would be, like, even though there's like 50,000 of us, right? You would think that anyone that has over 100,000 subs and has a YouTube silver award, you'd think you'd level up in terms of getting, you know, like, like a special email from, you know, people saying, hi, silver people or something, I don't know, whatever the hell you want to call us. You know, you would think that channels that have made, like, leveled up to that sort of thing, but I see nothing special at all. And from what I hear of even, like, the top channel, PewDiePie, for example, I, he, I even believe I've heard him complain about he never gets any, you know, any hears anything special. You know, like, it's it's just crazy. The YouTube Help Center helps me resolve issues with my channel. I don't use it. I don't care. I am satisfied with the support offered by YouTube. Disagree strongly. Not satisfied. They'll probably ask me why. <clears throat> Did you know that you can contact YouTube support by using any one of the following methods? YouTube Help Forum. Select all that apply. Yes, I know there's a help forum. Yes, I know Team YouTube, and they have replied. Um... YouTube help channel. Yeah, I know that's there. I didn't know there was a chat. Email? Oh, yeah, 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 because I've got a support. I've got, no, yeah, yeah, I know about that. I didn't know there was a chat. Can I chat to a human, can I? Really? Did you contact YouTube support using any of the following methods? Uh, I've done, I've contacted Team YouTube. I, in the last five years, maybe I've done it via email once or twice. Um, and I have actually received a reply from the uh, Asia Pacific Asia Pacific partner manager, so I guess I can't complain um, in that respect. Uh, creator insider YouTube channel informal YouTube channel. Um, I I know a little about it. I've seen where they <laughs> actually admitted they admitted. Beauty, even though they weren't supposed to. I wonder if they got their ass kicked. Um, it made all the made all the rounds of all the YouTube news that um, they admitted that what was it that the algorithm? Um, uh, yeah, that they don't send out emails to everyone who subscribes to your channel. It's ridiculous. They make up their mind who gets the emails. Their magic algorithm. YouTube creators channel. I know there's a YouTube creators channel. YouTube Creator Academy, yeah. YouTube Creators on Twitter, yeah. YouTube Fan Fest, yeah. Spaces pop ups, yeah. I know a little about it. YouTube Help, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've heard of most of these things, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 
just not in the scene. Like, I'm not one of those YouTubers who hangs out with other YouTubers and, you know, like, it goes to, you know, I've been to a couple of YouTube events at the Google HQ here in Sydney and stuff like that, but I feel like a fish out of water, you know? Like, there's just all these other, you know, there's either gaming channels or cooking channels or, you know, or whatever. It's nice to meet people, but, like, when they're not in the same field, it's just it's just not the same. Um, near the satisfy, I'm just a, not a very social animal. Uh, YouTube creator, how satisfied are you? I'm, I'm, don't care. Oh, don't know, never used. Right. Okay. Sorry. I've never really used many of them. Whatever. <clears throat> Do you have a business relationship with a partner manager at YouTube? Technically, I do, but I think that they moved on or something. I could probably, I should like put it on a post it note and stick it on my monitor just in case shit hits the fan. You know, in emergency, break glass, you know, here's the contact. But technically, I do. So I have even done a, I've even done a hangout with the Asia Pacific partner manager. So I guess that's a yes. Thinking specifically of your relationship with your main partner manager, how strong, oh. I, it, my last business plan review. Oh, yeah, they help you. They offer. I didn't. I didn't go to that. I didn't take up their offer of doing that. I am satisfied with my main partner manager at YouTube. Okay. <clears throat> Once again, I think that you know, our, like at least every six months or something, um, the YouTube partner manager in, I assume, like their area base, because Asia Pacific has a partner manager, should just email all the main channels, let's say 100,000 up, I know that sucks if you're on 95,000 or whatever, you know, or you're 50,000, you're doing really well and you've got 50,000 subs, but you know, you've got to have the line somewhere, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, and, and like an email saying, hey, I'm still here, if you have any problems or if your, you know, channel gets flagged and you lose your streaming, Email us directly and we'll sort it out. You know, there's nothing like that. Never get anything like that. How helpful is the information found on YouTube creator site? I, I, whatever. I don't care. Thinking about how YouTube communicates and supports creators. How strongly? do YouTube gives timely updates on changes that could impact me. YouTube offers clear communication. Does a good job of delivering information to me. No. Nah. YouTube, it's, it's YouTube's main problem. It's my main gripe as a content, as a large channel with half a million subs. I know there's other, you know, there's tens of thousands of other channels just like mine. But, you know, how hard is it to mass, you know, to keep all those people on a big list and email them? Because it's all, if you're... Basically, if you've got a couple hundred thousand subs, there's a good chance this is your full-time job, right? And you you want to know. Spam us, right? Spam us, for goodness sake, with information. Provides information that is relevant to me. Offers, oh, you know, when you do send email, it's relevant. Uh, YouTube offers transparent. No. Piss off. YouTube clearly communicates how copyrighted content ID ID works on the services. <laughs> Every single YouTuber is going to click. Strongly disagree. Even PewDiePie is going to click that. Right? The number one YouTuber out there. Even he doesn't know how it works. Right? <laughs> what kind of communication do you receive from YouTube? Notification in Creator Studio Desktop? No. Notifications in YouTube app? No, never. YouTube Creator emails? Create it. Yeah, I do occasionally get those. Messages in the studio beta dashboard. No. Are you currently part of a multi-channel network? No freaking way. I've done a video on that. Do not join a multi-channel network. Do not do it. I'm telling you. Are you aware of the YouTube Creator Awards? Play Button Awards. Uh, um, formerly called the Play Button Awards? There were play button awards. I know there's no. Uh, what's what's the Webby thing? What's the? Uh, I'm gonna YouTube Creator. Oh yeah, I guess I've heard of it. Probably I don't know. Whatever. 
<coughs> the YouTube <laughs> the YouTube Creator Awards inspire me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm excited to look forward to being recognized being by a Creator Award. It's, is this the 100,000 thing? You two motivate me to continue creating. No, not really. Whatever. Do you create gaming content videos? Jeez, gamers have their own specific question. Um, no. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if I do gaming videos or not. <laughs> what sort of creators are you, do you... How stupid do you think creators are? What other platforms do you create content for? Well, I don't create content specifically for any other channels, but I do use them. So technically I've used... Well, look, yeah, Twitter. What, what, I, I create content? You don't create content for Twitter. Vimeo, I use website, Vimeo. I do use Facebook, don't use Snapchat. Daily Motion sucks ass, but technically I've got 800 videos on there. Instagram, I used to have an Instagram thing, but I don't use it anymore. Lion, what's Lion? I have no idea what Lion is. Um, I, I only use YouTube no, I, and Twitch. Well I, well, I have a Twitch channel and no, no, I don't use it though. Snapchat, no, I don't, I don't even know what Snapchat is. Well, like, I've heard of it, you know, whatever. Line, no, I only eat next. Please allocate, oh God. Please allocate 100 preference points across the following platforms, indicating this, how many points you would assign each based on your preference to upload to that platform, oh God. 90. Like, like you're indicating your preference to upload to that. Well, I'm I'm a I'm a YouTube content creator, and my preference is to upload videos to YouTube. Like, I don't. What am I going to do? Upload a video to Twitter? How does that work? I'm going to say ninety, ten. Like, I, you know, yeah, total, whatever. Do you agree slightly that YouTube is the best place? Oh, you are, oh, God, now I've got to go through each one of them. You agree slightly that YouTube is the best place. Which of the following platforms is the best place, is the best place for creators? What? <laughs> That's dumb. I agreed slightly. Because I didn't agree strongly, they're making me say, well, which one is better than YouTube? <laughs> like, what? Well, in terms of that, Vimeo. Like, Vimeo, right? Vimeo is better quality and also, like, it's it, nobody uses it. It's search sucks. It's interaction, you know, it, it just isn't there. But in terms of, like, if I was to upload quality video, it'd probably be to Vimeo. Even though there's no audience there. <clears throat> Please answer the following. It depends. See, if you ask that previous question... Oh, you can't go back, by the way. Looks like you can't go back. Jeez, that sucks ass. We're almost there. Look at the bar graph. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, I forget. Um, in the previous question, yes. If you're after like audience of course you'd like probably post the video on facebook then you'd get a million views in one day and then your video would just disappear erased from existence basically um because facebook is not youtube my core audience is youtube yes i have more subscribers fans on you than than other social media platforms yes <clears throat> Please indicate your level of agreement with the statement following. YouTube does a good job distributing my new videos to my subscribers. No. I, I get things all the time. Um, do you do a good job? No. I don't. No. I think you do a piss poor job. Of Well, no. You do a disagree slightly. You don't do a piss poor job because at least I'm still getting views. But so many... People are saying I didn't get announced, and you know, announced for that. It's one of the big things that that creators are screaming about, is that people have subscribed to my channel and they're not getting notified. It's like it's bullshit. Even even if you do the bell icon, apparently, and like, 
It's just ridiculous. If you subscribe, you should get notified. You shouldn't have to hit. I guess, no, I can understand why the bell icon's there. I don't necessarily like it because you might want to subscribe to the channel and keep it in a list of things you subscribe to, but you may not want to get notified daily, I guess. So it's understandable. But how many YouTube channels do you currently upload to? I got, I technically, I, I, I have four YouTube channels. EV blog, EV blog two, EV discover, and my alt zone channel, personal one. Next, is there anything else you want us to know? What happened to Susan? Is that how you spell um, Susan? Susan Wajisti? Uh, did Wij? Alphabet It was so fantastic. <laughs> Your lack of communication. I can't type. Clarity with creators, especially surrounding, especially surrounding um, uh, uh, strikes. And the like, whatever. Next. Which gender do you mostly identify with? Fuck off. Male. Bloody, why does everything have to... Why? Why is gender important? Why? Why even ask that? Because you're freaking YouTube. That's why. You're alpha, you're Google, you're alphabet. And diversity matters. It shouldn't bloody matter. Uh, next. Prefer not to answer. There you go. Bugger off. Uh. These were all the questions we had for you. Thank you for taking your time to complete this survey. Thank you, YouTube slash Google slash Alphabet. Unbelievable. <laughs> I wonder what use this is going to be. I mean, you know, there's going to be a few obvious ones that just shoot right up, you know, because every creator who fills this out is just going to click, you know, you strongly disagree to your, you know, your communication or whatever. Like, and all, all that sort of jazz. And uh, anyway, catch you next time.